morning, everyone, and welcome to the second week of Easter as we continue to celebrate and bask in the risen sunlight of our, our Lord raised from the dead. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own false failings and sins and ask for God's most gracious and abundant mercy. Jesus, you are the way. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned. Then he brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. According to John, Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, you are the teacher in Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, 
We speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Rather busy day for our parish today, the burial of one of our native sons, Bishop Timlin, this afternoon, and also the confirmation of young men and women, young boys and girls, uh, at St. Paul's at five o'clock this evening as well, their yearly confirmation. So it's gonna be a busy day for our parish. It was busy for the uh, early church. And uh, you can see that the, there was a, such a, a tremendous attraction to the early church in that first reading that people came and they brought alms so that others could have uh, food, can have sustenance and so on. Um, we hear one Joseph, who sold his property and gave the, the money, put it at the feet of the apostles to be used for charity and whatever work the church was doing in that particular time. And the church continues to do that. The church continues to do. We receive alms you know, on a weekly basis from your wonderful collections and, and the church dispenses those in its proper form especially for those who are poor, those who are needy. And uh, we see in uh, the gospel today where Nicodemus is quite confused about being born again. And Jesus says, you must be born of the Spirit. The Spirit must live in you so that when you look upon Christ crucified, you will have eternal life and believe in him. So this is our Easter celebration, to be a communal, communally uh, um, uh, good and kind to one another and to celebrate the resurrection of Christ from the dead, present among us as he continues to feed us with his word, as he continues to nourish us with his body and his blood at this holy mass. May our Easter joy continue to be spread, may it continue to be enjoyed and believed by all of us. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing he that he hears and answers all our prayers. The response will be, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will rededicate herself to living and proclaiming Christ's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That all nations will prioritize care for the poor and the vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially James Loftus, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our young boys and girls, young men and women who will be receiving confirmation this evening at St. Paul's, that the Holy Spirit may help them to be born again in the new life of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we pray for our, our 
Nadu's son, Bishop Timwin, on his day of burial, that God may grant him the fullness of eternal life in his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother that she may accompany us as we walk to hand in hand together with the risen Christ. And the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, your Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which yours has given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. And bless you, your Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, for the divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And let us all stand and pray as we recognize on the cross our Savior, that your sacrifice and mine this morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Praise and glory of Jesus. Our good. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, I do it in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this Easter time, above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of heaven and kingdom are shown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising to life is our rising as well. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving the thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Way when supper was ended, he took the chalice again, once giving you thanks. He handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread from throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray as our risen Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. And in an Easter spirit, let us share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold our risen Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are we this morning, our call to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers at this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us, being your made help in this present life and secure us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of our risen Lord. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day today.